Um, thinking about um, lessons that you learn, uh, findings that emerge, are there one or two that, that stand out to you or maybe were surprising to you? First for me um, is, is, is sort of helping um, community leaders understand what economic development is and what are, what are the necessary components to actually make a strategy work. But two, I think, is, um, is, is helping communities, small, particularly smaller communities, think not just about local services, but really to, to, to accelerate in these communities forward, we have to really say, well, what, just like a larger region, like, what are your strengths? Uh, what are your capabilities? And how do you build those capabilities? And, and for smaller firms, that actually may, I mean, for smaller communities, that actually may be more important for larger communities. Yeah. Like you really have to know what your expertise is and, and go all in on that particular industry. And frankly, a set of firms that have a likelihood to scale and grow to create that capability yeah. for you. That's something that comes up in your work over and over again, right, is innovation, right? Innovation yeah. ecosystems, innovation hubs. And I'm wondering, right, what are some of the, the sort of critical resources or catalysts for communities, big and small, beginning to think about innovation, thinking outside of the traditional sort of economic development box or playbook? So. Yeah, I mean, I think so, like a, a place like Kendall County and Bernie County, I mean, I think it's about being somewhat creative about what are those resources that you can that you can leverage to build those ecosystems. So for instance, in, in, in that community, um, what we know about Bernie and Kendall County is that there's a large number of you know, Austinites and uh, residents in San Antonio and other t uh, other larger metros looking to that community um, as a retirement community, as a place to sort of look for the next phase of their life. And so out of that, you have an, a wealth of technology resources and knowledge of mentorship and capital uh, access. And so being creative about the way that you think about supporting startups. And so one of the things that, that Bernie and Kendall County has done is really tapped into that ne that network yeah. of, uh, of experienced talent for mentoring, for capital in a way around an angel network and things of that work. So I think being creative is important. And I think one of the things that we have to think about too as we think about innovation growth in smaller communities is how do we leverage those regional colleges and yeah. universities. Mm -hmm. We tend to think about UT Austin and mm -hmm. our big guys as, as the innovation hubs. Some of these smaller community uh, Regional universities, college, community colleges can do that too, yeah. if if given the right support and engaged with the community in the right way. Think about your work, right, and, and and the work that you did for IC Squared. Are there any particular issues that emerged for you in terms of how we might think about leveraging some of that insight to improve community well-being? So I think again, you know, for me, like economic development is about community engagement, it's about understanding assets, but that whole process. Is a lot of times it's about educating your citizens and your public, your public officials and your decision makers about what are the drivers of this, uh, of, the, of economic development and why are these issues important. And so getting that knowledge and that expertise, that sort of knowledge into the hands of decision makers I think is important.